Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kaya Dalabasu. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, precious, God bless you. Koyanda bakanda baso. Shanda rabakayanda baso. Leida baso. Maya kalabadena ikatalabayanda. God bless you. As you're coming or in here, you're one of God, Dennis. God bless you. Good to have you here tonight. God bless everybody coming or in. I see people are coming on. Good evening. Good evening, eh? Lavon, God bless you. As you're coming on, Sia, God bless you. Amelia, God bless you. Tumi, God bless you. Uh, Sally, God bless you for the roses. Patsy, God bless you for the roses. Begin to come on in. Begin to come on in. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to come on in. Blessings, everybody. God bless you. Hey, Angie, God bless you. As you're coming on. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, begin to come on in. Begin to come on in. I'm sensing a shift in the atmosphere tonight. And I want to make sure that everybody that comes on, God has releases a word over your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you for the beautiful roses. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to come on in and bless the Lord with me as you're coming on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. It's night number two. Nights of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Maya Dabayanda Bahaso Labrahanta Leida Basonda Bahanta Librasa Adika Payanusa God bless you Woman of God Julia I see you coming on Saturday Salima God bless you Aisha God bless you as you're coming on Father we thank you and we honor your name we oh, exalt you for you are great and mighty we exalt you for you are an awesome God you are the almighty God you are the all powerful God you deserve all the glory you deserve uh, all the power and all the honor and all the adoration. We give you all the praise. Come on, if you're coming on, power tap on your screen and praise on the ship button. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's somebody that God is getting ready to restore your strength. There is somebody that God is getting ready to restore your confidence. There is somebody tonight that God says you got to take your power back that the devil is taken away from you. You got to take the glory back that the devil is taken away from you. You got to take your wisdom back. You got to take your potential back. You got to take everything that the devil might have taken away from you in the name of Jesus. Manda basaka liba hanta. And as you're connected tonight, I need you to make uh, an announcement into the atmosphere and declare, I take it all back. I need my glory back tonight. Uh, I need my anointing back tonight. Uh, I need my power back tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you know, there is something that you had. Uh, there is a blessing that you had. Uh, there is strength that you had. There is confidence uh, that you had in the presence of the Lord. Uh, but it seems like the devil is seeking it away. Uh, but as you come in tonight, Come on, make it your announcement and declare, I take it back, I take it back in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a Sunday boyata. Begin to come on in. God bless you as you're coming on. Let there be restoration tonight in the name of Jesus. God bless you, every new person coming on. God bless the subscribers. God bless every follower that is coming on. And God bless the gifters that are coming on tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to take so much time today praying, praying for people one on one. If the Lord permits me, thank you, Jesus. But we're gonna engage and enter into prayer. Thank you, Jesus. As you're coming on, let me know where you are watching from and where you are connecting from very quickly. Let me know where you're watching from and where you are connecting from as well in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you for the restoration of grace. We thank you for the restoration of glory. I see Sierra Leone connected. God bless you as you're coming on. Thank you, Jesus. Florida, Ghana is connected. Namibia, God bless you as you're coming I'm com coming on. I see England. I see Zimbabwe. I see Limpopo. I see Ireland. I see Zambia. 
Zimbabwe is connected. God bless you as you're coming on. So quickly, power tap on your screen and make sure you press on the share button. I say Ghana, Botswana, uh, uh, I see uh, the Philippines, I see South Africa, I see Uganda, Mozambique is in the house. Pretoria, Kimberley is in the house. Nigeria is connected. The United Kingdom connected tonight. Botswana is in the house. God bless you as you're coming on tonight. Le Bayanda Basaya. Father, we enter into your presence boldly. We enter into your praises tonight with confidence that you are a God of restoration and you are a God of ancestor. You are a God of change. As we pray tonight, let there be divine restoration. Break open the windows of heaven and release everything that was held up. Break open the windows of heaven. Let there be an outpouring and light in the name of Jesus. Break open every portal that the devil is closed up and release answers in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Father I thank you for tonight I thank you for this morning and for every person that you have assigned on this place tonight I'm asking that you touch them I'm asking that you deal with every situation I'm asking that you are breaking yokes I'm asking that you are breaking cycles I'm asking that you are breaking limitations as we enter to the place of prayer I take authority of the atmosphere I take authority of this platform. I take authority in the name of Jesus. As we decree and declare tonight the Lord will bind the hands of the enemy and destroy evil yokes and destroy the plans of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Kura bayanda lande bo sandere bo satana bayanda you know, as I was preparing for today, as I was preparing for today, I felt this burden on my spirit. God bless you, those that listen the gifts. I felt this burden upon my spirit uh, that there's some of you watching me right now. You are in your night season. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that weeping may endure for the night, uh, but joy comes in the morning. Uh, but even though you're in your night season, uh, you cannot allow the enemy to temper with your life. Uh, you cannot allow the enemy uh, to temper with your business. Uh, yes. It may be a night nice season, but when a thief knocks on my door, I do not keep on relaxing because it's night. When there is a sound I hear on the outside, when I hear the sound of Kubayanda Basaya, even when I hear the dogs barking, I do not just relax because it is a night nice season. I gotta wake up and check to see what is happening right in the night nice season. There's somebody watching me tonight. You say you are in your night nice season, and the devil is after your life. Uh, you are in your night season. Uh, the devil is fighting your marriage. Uh, you are in your night season. Uh, the devil is fighting your children. Uh, you are in your night season. Uh, your marriage is a mess. Uh, you are in your night season. Uh, there is confusion in your house. Uh, can I get somebody watching me tonight uh, who says it is night in my marriage. Uh, it is night in my business. Uh, it is night in my finances. Uh, it is night upon my destiny. Power tap on your screen is here. And the Lord said there is somebody that is going through an ass season. And I'm sending you this morning. You got to wake somebody up tonight. You got to wake somebody up tonight. There is so much demonic activity that is happening in your life. There is so much sorcery in your life. There is so much kubayande bosanda. There is so much wickedness in your life. There is so much destruction in your life. There is so much shame in your life. And the Lord said Go wake somebody up in Kabasata because your house is in trouble. He said, Go wake somebody up because their marriage is in trouble. He said, You gotta wake somebody up because their destiny is a mess. Who am I speaking to tonight? Mayaba sat, I feel the hit, Kuda Bayanda. I feel the notes and I didn't want to stand, but I might as well have to stand. Quickly power tap on your screen is here. The Lord said, I need you to go wake somebody up. Come on now. I need you to go wake somebody up this evening. I need to go you to go wake somebody up. Because there is a thief in your house. There is a thief in your marriage. There is an enemy in your business. There is an enemy in your finances. If you can drop in the comment section and say, wake up, wake up. If you can shake somebody up and command them to wake up. Because there is an enemy 
in your life. Uh, there is an enemy fighting your dreams. Uh, there is an enemy fighting your marriage. Uh, there is an enemy planting destruction. Uh, there is an enemy planting confusion. Uh, there is an enemy planting destruction. Uh, there is an enemy planning uh, for you to lose your marriage. Uh, there is an enemy planning uh, for you to lose your destiny. Uh, there is a devil that is planning uh, to destroy your life. Uh, if you can wake up tonight uh, and say, I'm not going to sit uh, and allow the devil to steal. Uh, I'm not going to sleep uh, and allow them to kill my feet. Uh, I'm not going to sleep uh, and allow them to destroy my assignment. I got to get up. But what's up on your screen is you. Come on, drop in the comment section. I gotta get up. Come on now. I gotta get up. Masaka yabasa. A day na kabasata. I gotta get up. Come on now. Come on now. Make it an announcement into the realm of the spirit. But what's up on your screen is you. And declare, I gotta get up. I need to get up. I need to wake up tonight. Because there is somebody kabasata that is standing against my destiny. I, I, I gotta wake up in my marriage. Because there is a spirit of confusion that is rising in my house. I gotta get up, I gotta get up Because there is a spirit of shame That is after my destiny My Abbasata Kabahasa can I pray for somebody watching me right now when God gave me this word the Bible speaks of the thief that comes in the night the owners were present but the mistake is they were sleeping the owner and the servant were present in the same yard but the reason that the thief succeeded is because they were sleeping they are watching and Waits enough for you to fall asleep in order to destroy your life. Can I pray for somebody watching me tonight who says, I might have been sleeping, but I need to get up tonight. I might have been relaxing, but I gotta wake up tonight. I gotta wake up and catch the enemy. Red handed. Can you power tap on your skin and shield? And God bless you, those that listen the gifts. The Lord say, go wake somebody up tonight. Go wake them up. Come on. Come on. You got to wake somebody up tonight. Come on. Who is the person watching me right now? You say, you know, there is an enemy in your house. Come on now. You know, there is a witch in your house. You know, there is a witch in your marriage. You know, there is a spirit of rejection. Why are you sleeping in the midst of a storm? Why are you sleeping in the midst of confusion? Why are you sleeping in the the midst of divorce. Why are you sleeping when things are messed up in your life? Why are you sleeping when you still got no job? Why are you sleeping when you're still in a place of debt? Why are you sleeping when things are not working in your life? Can I get somebody watching me tonight who says I can't even sleep until there is order in my life. I can't even sleep until there is victory in my life. I can't even sleep until change our tap on your screen is here la nama saka paya dosa le batara bayanda ikatosa you gotta know and understand uh, that there is an enemy that is waiting up uh, for you to shut those eyes can somebody power tap on your screen is here i'm on the bus that they are waiting up uh, for you to close up your eyes uh, so they can destroy your assignment uh, they are waiting coming out uh, for you to lay uh, down and sleep uh, for them to enter your marriage uh, and enter your dreams uh, and destroy your dreams uh, can somebody power tap on your screen is here there is an enemy that is waiting up for you to just close your eyes up so they can release sleep paralysis up there is an enemy that is waiting up for you to close your eyes up so they scatter your destiny he said you gotta wake up am i speaking somebody watching me right now even though it is night it does not give the enemy an excuse to torment your life I'm only seeing a hundred shares. I want somebody that is, that I, I, I want to provoke somebody this evening. Are you hearing me? Even though it is night, it don't mean that the enemy has access and legal right to enter into your life. Now listen to this. The book of Judges 16 verse number 18. Right here we love the word of the Lord. Judges 16 verse number 18. We hear the story of Samson and Delilah. God bless you for the gifts. We hear the story of Samson and Delilah. 
Now Delala, even though Delala knows the secrets of where the power of Samson comes from, even though Samson lied to her before, Delala could only wait to act at the moment that Samson closes his eyes to sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Can somebody power tap on your screen and see? Are you hearing me? Now, Delilah is asking for, you know, the details. Where is it that your power comes from? Why? Because you're going to understand that when the enemy is rising against your life, he uses your weaknesses in order to take away your strength. Come on now. He uses your weaknesses. He uses that weak part of your life in order to take away your strength. Now, Delilah comes with an assignment and Delilah comes with an agenda to take away the power from Samson. Now, Delilah Allah is a demonic system uh, that the enemy is releasing uh, to drain you of your strength. Uh, Delilah is a system uh, aside from the pit of darkness uh, to take away your strength. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that Delilah could only wait uh, when Samson was sleeping uh, in order to take away his power. Ah, yeah, I can I pray for somebody watching me tonight? Uh, there is an enemy that is after your life uh, that waiting for you to sleep. Uh, there is an enemy after your glory. There is an enemy after your destiny uh, that waiting for you to sleep, uh, to sleep on your vision, uh, that waiting for you to sleep, uh, to sleep on your destiny, uh, that waiting for you to sleep, uh, to sleep on your assignments. Uh, can I pray for somebody watching me tonight? Uh, you say there is a Delilah that is waiting for me to sleep. Uh, there is a Delilah that is watching my eyes uh, and waiting for me to sleep. Uh, there is a demonic spirit uh, that is watching your eyes uh, waiting for you to sleep uh, so they can release arrows uh, so they can release curses uh, and she pray tonight and declare that any demonic spirit uh, and any demonic power assigned to scatter your life uh, assigned to take away your glory uh, assigned to scatter your destiny uh, assigned to scatter your vision uh, assigned to scatter your marriage uh, and she pray tonight and declare we break it tonight uh, we break it tonight uh, in Bless! The Lord said, God speak. Uh, there is a Samson tonight. Uh, a Samson that carries glory. Uh, they say there is a Samson tonight. Uh, a Samson that carries a vision. Uh, who is a person tonight? Uh, you say I carry a blessing. Uh, who is a woman tonight? Uh, you say I carry a marriage. Uh, who is a woman tonight? Uh, you say I carry a business. Uh, who is a woman tonight? Uh, you say I carry destiny. Uh, who is a man watching me tonight? Uh, who say I carry a vision uh, and I carry a generation uh, it runs in my blood uh, I carry a vision uh, a vision to scatter poverty uh, I carry a vision uh, to destroy rejection uh, ah, my mama sat uh, now Samson is a target uh, because Samson carries power now Samson is a threat uh, because Samson is power ah, Mando Basata, can I pray for you tonight uh, they target your destiny uh, because you carry the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, they target your vision. Uh, because you carry the power, the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, they target your marriage. Uh, because inside of your marriage, uh, there is power in the marriage. Uh, anybody watching me tonight uh, who says, I need my power back. Uh, where is my power? My power to succeed. Uh, where is my power? My power to get blessings. Uh, where is the power that God has released upon my life? Samson is a target because the man carries power. Ah, my mama suka paya dosa. Hey, who's the person watching me tonight? Who we'll say they want to take away my power? Now, Samson, how can you be sleeping when they are cutting off your hair? Samson, how can you be sleeping when they're taking away your glory? Samson, how can you be sleeping when the Philistines are coming against your life? Ah, masaka talabayata. Can I pray for somebody watching me tonight? Eh, namasata, how can you be sleeping when they're coming against your marriage? How can you be sleeping when they're rising against your children? How can you be sleeping when they're rising against your destiny? Can I get a woman tonight? How can you be sleeping? Urabayata, eh, how can you be sleeping like Tabo when they're holding on your job? How can you be sleeping when they're holding your sons and daughters? 
It's a prayer to take tonight. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. Now the problem is when the enemy suppresses you, you're only able to wake up when the damage is already done. Can I get someone to rise up on your feet? I know some of you, it's midnight. If you are in midnight like me, or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., if it is 12 o'clock, rise up on your feet. I thank you, Jesus. I know I know you wanted to sleep, but rise up on your feet. Come on now. I also wanted to sit, but I'm on my feet right now. Power tap on your skin and see. Because Samson, you cannot only wake up when your head is already bowed, bowed. Who cannot speak to you tonight? You say, I can, you say, I can't only wake up when the job is already destroyed. I cannot wait to wake up when I'm already going through a divorce. I cannot just wake up and I'm a satire when it's already too late I can't wake up when I'm already in the midst of destruction I can't only wake up when my destiny is a mess now Delilah wakes up Samson in verse number 18 in verse number 18 and 19 but by that time he wakes up the power is gone Am I speaking to somebody watching me right now? The time you want to start praying for the business, the customers are gone. Can somebody power tap on your screen this year? Who is the person watching me tonight? The time you want to start praying for your children, they're already incarcerated. The time you want to pray for your visa, it's already rejected. The time you want to pray for your marriage, the marriage is already a mess. The time you want to pray, it's this man coming from heaven. The man is already remarried. Who am I speaking to tonight? The time you started to pray, you're already in the mess. Samson rise up. The Philistines are here. In verse number 90 says, after putting them to sleep on a lap, she called someone to shave off the heads, to shave off the seven braids of his hair. And so began to subdue him and his strength left him. Can you imagine? Delilah made Samson sleep. After Samson is sleeping, she can still call somebody else to say, hey, the fool is sleeping. Come do whatever you want. Can you power tap on your screen? Did you get that word? Now he's sleeping on his own legs. And then he, she calls for somebody else. And somebody else enters and cuts off the braids. Can somebody power tap on your screen? And see? That's why you, you're surprised. Like, why is it that I didn't see the enemy coming? Because it's a well organized syndicate. God bless you, those who listen the gifts. Because when the enemy is rising, you know exactly what he's doing. Now, Delilah had a vision and a plan. You wonder why I said that? How did I even sleep? And how did how did this happen? How did I lose myself? How did I lose my confidence? How am I a mess right now? She makes him sleep. Now he's sleeping. In other words, she knew that this one sleeps. And when he sleeps, he can't even wake up. Power tap on your screen is here. And if you have not a follow, press on the follow button. There's some of you, the enemy knows when he presses you down, you can't even rise. One attack and you're done with. One battle that you're fighting and your life is already over. You're, you've already given up. Oh, I don't want to pray anymore. Oh, one, one single battle like that. You're flat and dead. Who am I speaking to tonight? Come on, power tap on your screen and see. The Lord says, somebody, you got to wake up tonight. It don't matter what the devil has started in your life. Come on now. It don't matter what the devil has already started in your marriage. It doesn't matter what the devil has started to do against your destiny. There's some of you watching me tonight. You can't even rest. You can't even sleep. You can't even eat else and drink. You can't even do anything because the enemy has already messed up with your mind. You battle with depression and your battle anxiety. Now you're feet are even hotter and now your back even pains you up ah my Santa, when the enemy sees uh, that you're already relaxing uh, now here's the opportunity uh, not only to cut off his hair but now they can bind some so now can i pray for somebody who's me tonight uh, i decree and declare yeah but 
that this is a season where you wake up in the name of Jesus. He said, this is a season, a season for you to rise, a season for you to stand, a season for you to fight and fight for your destiny. The angel visit Peter in the prison. The Lord sends an angel. Can you power tap on your screen and say, I want to know somebody watching me right now. And the verse said the angel came in and you find Peter is sleeping. <laughs> How many of you watching me right now? The enemy puts you on a certain sleep, on a deep sleep. That opportunities came in your life. But because you were sleeping on your vision, you didn't even see the opportunity. The right person, hold up, Ayanda, the right person that God had assigned for you to marry showed up in your life. But the, when the person came in your life, you were still caught up in the past uh, and, and you missed the door that God had opened. Uh, I have a set of devout says, the angel entered the prison uh, and the gates and the doors were open. Uh, but on the other side, on the floor of the prison, uh, there is a Peter that is sleeping. Uh, yet the doors are open. Uh, there is a Peter that is sleeping. Uh, yet the prison is open. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, I don't know the evil spirits uh, the devil is released upon your life. Uh, I don't know the demonic spirit uh, that paralyzes your hands, uh, that paralyzes your bones, uh, that paralyzes your back, uh, that paralyzes your eyes. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, I decree and declare uh, black loose. Uh, we black loose. Uh, we black it in the name of Jesus. Come on, power tap on your screen and share. Who is the person watching me right now? Now listen to this. We're talking of Samson. Samson does not see that there is an attack that comes up. Huh? But can I break down for some of you watching me right now? Yes, we are all, all, all of us, we are in a spiritual warfare. But I want to talk about those watching me right now. Huh? That the opportunity is presented. Huh? But the enemy has closed up your eyes. Huh? The blessing is presented. Huh? And the door is opened. Huh? But the enemy has to lose sleeping. Huh? Can I pray for some? of you are timid tonight. Uh, you carry a gift and a vision, uh, but you are sleeping on the vision. Uh, you carry a quota by Yanda Basata. You carry a destiny. Uh, you carry greatness in your life, uh, but you are sleeping on the greatness. Uh, you are sleeping on your destiny. Uh, you are sleeping on your marriage. Uh, you are sleeping on your business. Uh, as I pray in the notes tonight, uh, any demonic spirit uh, that allows you to miss opportunities, uh, any demonic spirit uh, that makes Let you miss blessings, uh, any demonic spirits uh, that let you miss, uh, miss opportunities, uh, good opportunities, uh, and good open doors. Uh, as I pray for your head tonight, uh, any demonic spirits, uh, the spirit of confusion uh, that messes your up, uh, the spirit of depression uh, that affects your blessings. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, we break it up, uh, it is broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, come on, somebody, Kuba Sata. Let the hand of the Lord touch you tonight. Let the hand of the Lord touch you tonight. The spirit of lessness, the spirit of procrastination, the spirit of fear, and the spirit of intimidation that intimidates your life. As I pray for you tonight, we break it. In the name of Jesus, you carry the grace. The answer is right in your face. But how can you see the answer when you are still sleeping? Power tap on your screen is here. There's some of you who feel like the enemy is closing doors on your life. No, the door is opened. But you are far from the opportunity. It's like you are stuck in one place. God bless you, those who listen. They get spouted up on your screen is here. Who is a person watching me right now? You say, whenever something good comes in my life, I feel like I get stuck. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever Kuda Bayanda Basaya, whenever God releases a miracle in my life, I'm stuck. I, I, I don't even trust God enough to enter into the new season. Come on up. I don't even trust God enough to enter into a new marriage. Yeah. Yes, I've been divorced before, but God is releasing a marital blessing. Uh, but I'm still stuck in the past. Uh. Yes, I've been betrayed before, uh, and I don't feel I can trust somebody else. Uh. I've been losing in business, uh, and I feel like I can't win another team. 
time. Who is a person watching me tonight? You say I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the past. I'm stuck in chains. I'm stuck in the prison. I'm stuck in rejection. I'm stuck in the prison like Peter. Peter is incarcerated. Now Peter, he, he can't even, he, he does not even feel like things are going to change in his life. Can you power tap on your screen this year? And if you've not a follow, press on the follow button. Have you been in a certain situation where you feel like it's over? You don't need anybody to tell you that your business is dead. You look at yourself, your business, you're like, it's dead. Who is a person watching me right now? You look at your marriage and you're like, uh, <laughs> even if even if God comes uh, right here on earth, I don't feel like we can still get back together. Who is a person watching me right now? Because the reason why the man of God is sleeping, he can't even believe in his own prayer life. He's an anointed apostle, but in that moment he's stuck. Come on now. Who is a person watching me right now? You say I am stuck. I'm stuck in one dimension. I'm stuck in the same position. My business is stuck and my relationship is stuck and my finances are stuck in one place. Power tap on your screen is here. You wake up in the morning. It's a whole same routine. Can you power tap on your screen is here? Let's get to 200,000 likes. You already see the end. I want to pray and announce you right now. So now, because of that hopeless situation, it's like the enemy gives you this mindset that, you know what? Just let it go. <laughs> Just let it go. How up on your screen is here? I know I'm speaking to some people watching me right now. What you're supposed to be fighting for, you can't even fight. There is something that tells you, just let it go. Are you hearing me? The reason why you are relaxing, when you know you don't even have a job in your life, the enemy tells you, just let it go. Those that are meant to be working, let them be working. Power tap on your screen is here. The enemy tells you, just let the marriage issue go. Let You, you know, marriage is not for everybody. Who is the person I'm speaking to tonight? Power tap on your screen is here. Uh, you, you, you're already tired. You're like, you know what? Woman of God, I've been trying and tired. The enemy tells you to just let it go. How can you be sleeping in a difficult situation like that? With no solution. No prayer life, nothing. <laughs> and never mind the church that prays for Peter. Peter on his own. He's praying like died in the prison. Now he's only sleeping right there on the ground. The enemy has you in the place, so you just want to let go. You wake up in the morning, you say, God, I wish I was dead. You are breathing, you're speaking, and you tell God, I wish I was dead. Where's the person watching me right now? There is about to be deliverance. The spirit of hopelessness. Come on now. The spirit of hopelessness. That is different between Samson. When Samson wakes up, even before he, he realizes that the hair was gone, he tried fighting. But you're right there, you can't even fight. You don't want to do anything. Am I speaking to somebody right now? There's some of you, the only prayer point you can ask for. Pray for me so that somebody can give me money. You yourself, you, you don't even want to look for a job anymore. Are you hearing me? Or you yourself, you're like, you know what? I pray for me so I can get a man that will give me money. Oh, my boyfriend blocked me. He's no longer giving money. Your hope for making your own money is gone. Thank you, Jesus. I need those people watching me right now. You say I'm hopeless and I'm in a helpless situation. I don't even feel like things are going to change in my life. Power tap on your screen. You know you my heart breaks every single day. When I receive a message of somebody telling me, pray for me so my boyfriend can give me money. No, why, why not ask that God opens the door for you so you can make it by yourself? Can I, can I just change your mindset tonight? Can I change your mentality tonight? And that person that you want to give the money, they wake up every morning, they're going to work. They are sweating for that money that you want to get for free. Kabasada, hopelessness. You look at yourself, you're already dead. You're already in chains and nothing can never change in your life. Power tap on your screen and say, Who is a person watching me right now? Manda Basaya, Ledeka Pasata Rabayata, Zande Beya Ata Labayanda, Hayama Sukapayasa. You're sleeping 
because you are helpless. You're not applying for the job because you know you don't see post your you're no longer applying because you've been rejected way too long and you don't want to be rejected anymore. Helplessness. Can I get somebody watching me right now? You say I am tired. I am tired. I'm tired of this situation. I need to wake up. Are you hearing me? You say I'm tired of just sleeping. I need to wake up tonight. I need to wake up tonight. If I don't wake up right now, then the enemy is going to have victory over my life. If I don't wake up right now, I'm going to wake up with an empty destiny. If I don't wake up and fight for my destiny, I'm going to wake up in a mess, Kabayanda. If I don't wake up tonight, I'm going to wake up to a broken marriage. Sir. As I pray for you tonight, sir, any demonic spirit sir, that takes away your power, any demonic spirit sir, that takes away your strength, sir, any demonic spirit, sir, the spirit of helplessness sir, that makes you desperate, sir, that makes you lose, useless, sir, any demonic spirit sir, that we can your hands up, that weakens your bones up, that weakens your minds up, and weakens your spirits up, and say you not shoot the night up, wherever it is up, we scatter by fire wherever it is up, Holy Ghost Church up, and burn in the name of Jesus up, wherever it is hiding up, right inside of your mind up, right inside of your body up, inside of your marriage up, we scatter by fire, we scatter in the name of Jesus, uh, even God himself says it's not your time. Uh, it's not your time for you to die. Uh, but you want to commit suicide. Uh, the Lord says it's not your time. Uh, it's not time for you to divorce. Uh, but you're ready to leave your marriage. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, I decree and declare, uh, let the heavens break open. Uh, let there be angels of deliverance. Uh, right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, evil yokes in your life. Uh, evil chains in your life. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, sir, we break them up, we break them up, we break them up in the name of Jesus, sir. I command them to break up, break out of their lives, sir, break out of your hands, sir, break out of your destiny, sir. in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Let them be delivered, sir, wherever the power is, sir, we scatter by fire, we break it. The one thing, the one thing that, 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 the one thing that God knows is the only thing that makes you different. Is the same thing the devil is fighting. Let there be deliverance right now. There's some of you watching me right now. You, you're just an empty body. The vision is dead. Are you hearing me? You just wake up every day. People see you, but they only see a shell of the person you used to be. Uh, but the glory is taken up. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, any demonic chain, uh, the enemy is choosing against your life. Uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, I break it off. Uh, I break it off. Uh, I break it off. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Let there be a shift in your body. Let there be a shift in your body right now. Let there be a shift in your body. Let there be a shift in your hands. Let there be a shift in your spirit. Maya Basande Rebo Saya. Let there be fire in your hands. Let there be fire under your feet. Let there be fire on your eyes. Fire on your head. And fire at Koba Sata. I command it to burn. I command it to burn. In the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you tonight. How long are you going to be helpless? How long are you going to be the beggar? Am I provoking somebody watching me right now? How long are you going to be mad? Because nobody wants to give you money. My total was sire. How long are you going to be mad? Because nobody wants to give you a job. How long are you going to be mad? Because you're bound in a place. Let them be delivered tonight. Any power of the enemy that controls your life. Any power of the enemy that controls your destiny as I pray for you tonight form it out and cough it out and burp it out it burns an anointed apostle of all the things they can do is sleeping God bless you those who listen to this let the be deliverance right now if you got a fire in your hands let me know what is happening if you are vomiting let me know what is happening with all the beauty that you have right now, you're sleeping, <laughs> waiting for a married man to divorce his wife. God bless your prophetess for the gifts. 
We thought that, you know, you're well educated. You're well educated, you're beautiful, you're so anointed. You are a great worshiper, but you are waiting for that man to divorce his husband so he can come and marry. The devil is a liar. Why are you sleeping on your destiny? Why are you sleeping on your vision? Why are you sleeping on your marriage? Yeah, hey, who am I speaking to tonight? Sir? You know your husband is a mess, sir, yet you are still waiting up for the day he apologizes. Sir. Why are you waiting up and why are you sleeping on your marriage? Sir? It's a preaching night. Let there be fire in the name of Jesus. Mama Masoko Robayanda. Esa Kapala Dosa. Edika Pasa Kapayanda. Leito Satosa. Erika Pasota. You know there is a wish in your office, right? <laughs> I have a Saturday. They come and show up in your face. Thank you, Jesus. They want to weaken your, they weaken your spirit. Have you been in a place the moment you sit on your chair? As you enter your own office, your own workplace, that you applied for and suffer to get a job. Now you are seeking the job. Ah, my sick up. How can you be sleeping uh, on your own promotion? Uh, how can you still be sleeping uh, on your own transfer? Uh, how can you be sleeping uh, on your own testimony? I uh, uh, scatter by fire. We scatter by fire. We scatter in the name of Jesus. God bless you, those who listen the guests. We, we, we are in a season, listen to this. We need no motivational speaking is okay. <laughs> Do you know that when you're going through a difficult situation, even if I tell you it's gonna be okay, and I leave you sleeping right there, somebody else is gonna tell you the same, and you'll still be in the same situation. Let there be deliverance right now. Who am I speaking to tonight? <laughs> I always say this, that they say to me else, but time also flies and time is moving. When you're waiting for time to heal, the blessing is missing. And somebody else already gets the blessing. Get yourself a glass of water to pray. Get yourself a glass of water to pray. Now listen to what happens with Samson. He is so much in love. He tells this lady his secrets. If somebody gets yourself some water to pray. You know, you really trust somebody when you cannot sleep in the presence. Uh, one thing that is one thing that is difficult for me is to even sleep even in the presence of strangers. You, you must have really trusted the lady for him to constantly tell you all the secrets and still wake up to betrayal. You must really trust the lady. And that's why she keep on lying on you. You must really trust that woman in your life. And that cousin, that best friend. You must really trust them. That's why they keep on attacking you and coming back. They attack you, you forgive them. They attack you, you forgive them. <laughs> You're the one that leads to apologies. <laughs> Any person that comes back in your life, the first statement is, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you hearing me tonight? Any connection, any relationship that you are, you've been in right now, it's not a new relationship. It's somebody from the past. They come and say, I apologize. So you are the one they use and waste. You are the one they play with and still come back into your life. And one of the messed up things is, how could they be sleeping? The door is open, a stranger comes in, and it keeps on sleeping. How would that point your here? So what the enemy does, he opens the portal. I always say this for those that have been listening to me for a while. A stranger cannot attack you without the legal right. God bless you for the gifts. For somebody that follow somebody that you're connected to by blood. Are you hearing me? That's why even certain territorial spirits, they cannot attack you, but they work in alignment with a certain spirit from your village, a certain spirit from your bloodline, a certain spirit from your generation. So it is Delilah, the girlfriend, the wife, I know whatever you want to call her, the one that is loved, the one that is lifted. Is the one that opens a door for the Philistines. 
she opens the door twice. The first time she opens for one man to come and shave off the head. The second time the door is open, the men come and they bind Samson. Can you power tap on your screen and say, the enemy has opened multiple doors in your life. God bless you for the roses. The first door that was opened, let's speak of betrayal first. So the enemy uses betrayal, right? After you use this betrayal, and then after you've been betrayed, you, you now feel, you know, you lose confidence. You're now doubting yourself. You know, you're now doubting yourself. You're now taking away the strength that God has released upon your life. And after that, he can now bind you. So you've been in the situation where you are right now. It didn't just happen overnight. You didn't just wake up discouraged and you, you wake up, oh, my life is over. No, it was a process. The enemy has been working on you constantly. She needed to know the secrets. She needed to act on the secrets. She needed to make sure that he's bound before he wakes up. Get yourself out as you pray. You cannot, one thing I refuse for you. You cannot sleep the entire time. Whilst the enemy has his hands on your head. You can't sleep the entire time whilst the enemy is tempering with your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kudabayanda. There is an there is somebody. There is somebody watching me right now. I'm hearing the name Tim. 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 T-I-M for like Timothy. Timothy is like your partner. It's like your significant other because I'm seeing you stand into this team. The Lord say we should pray for your partner because I'm seeing a setup. I'm seeing him being set up and being put in prison for something he didn't do. The Lord is fighting the battle right now. The Lord is fighting the battle right now. The Lord is fighting your battle right now. Listen, as we pray tonight, I want you to be praying even for your loved ones. Keep them at the back of your minds. Are you hearing me? Keep them at the back of your mind. Keep them at the back of your mind, even your loved ones. You can't just be selfish with the words. Power tap on your screen is here. So the enemy tries to get close to that place. You know, by the time you see the manifestation, the damage is already done. Power tap on your screen is here. At that time you, you start seeing the red flags, the damage is already done in your marriage. By the time you feel like, oh, you know, I feel like people don't like me, the damage is already done. Because when Samson wakes up now, he tries to fight, boom, he can no longer fight. He did not lose his power there and then. The power was already gone. But because he was sleeping, he didn't even realize that he was now empty. He didn't even realize that the blessing was already going. He didn't realize that the glory had already shifted. Get your water ready as you pray. The reason why you're only surprised right now about what happened, it didn't happen now. The battle started way back. The enemy started attacking your vision way back. Are you there? You said that today I rise up. All the other time, he would wake up in time and single-handedly fight all the Philistines. I want us to break this prayer right now. You say, God, you are waking me on time. You are waking me on time. You're not going to let it happen. Father, you're not going to let it happen. What they are planning to do over my children, God, you're not going to allow it. What they are planning to do over my destiny, God, you're not going to allow it. What they are planning to do in my marriage. What they are planning to do in my ministry. God, you can't allow it to happen. You can't allow rejection to happen. You can't allow the spirit of confusion to operate in my life. Father, I pray. Get your water ready as you pray. The Lord too much interrupts demonic activities. He interrupts the plans of the enemy. Are you there? You say, God, don't let it happen. There's some battles that you are physically not strong enough to fight. 
you're not mentally strong enough and wise enough to fight those battles once the enemies already started working some of it there is no going back power tap when you finish here there's some of you watching me right now you are in the midst of that difficult situation you say god if you don't fight for me right now there is no going back i don't even have a job anymore if god you don't release a breakthrough tonight i don't even have a house anymore if you do not release a breakthrough tonight i don't even have a car to drive anymore oh god if you do not fight for me tonight i don't even have a marriage to talk about get your water ready to pray you cannot sleep through the process you cannot sleep and allow the enemy from the beginning to the end the boss say he had seven braids the other translation says he had seven locks the first one goes he didn't wake up the second one is cut off he didn't even wake up the third one is cut off he didn't even wake up who is a person watching me right now you entered the first business it failed and you didn't see nothing you entered another business and the other one failed and you didn't see nothing you entered a new relationship it failed you didn't see nothing power tap on your screen is here yes you got engaged and all that you got kids and all that and that one failed and you saw nothing you didn't even fight about it you didn't even pray about it it just happens are you there? There's so many things that we have let go in our lives. Who is that person who says, I'm in the midst of a battle? Can you power tap on your screen and share? Let's get to 700 likes. Let God fight for you tonight. Let God fight for you tonight. Let God fight for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm assigning angels of deliverance. Let them begin to rise tonight. Let them begin to travel tonight to every country, every continent, every household, every office. I decree and declare tonight, Lord, begin to rise and begin to fight the battle. I decree and declare, scatter the plans of the enemy, interrupt the demonic agenda, cancel the seed of sickness, cancel the yokes over the lights, cancel the curses in the lights. I decree and declare tonight that it's a prey over the lights, cut off the hands of the accusers, cut off the hands of the witches, cut off the hands of the demonic warriors, the temper with the lights, we cut them off tonight, we cut them off tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord arise, oh Lord arise tonight, it's a prey for your water tonight, I decree and declare whatever that happened in the night season, whatever battle you're fighting, even in the night season, whatever demonic gate and door that was opened up in the night, opened up in your dreams, as I pray for you tonight, I decree and declare, let there be fire tonight, let there be deliverance, in the mighty name of Jesus, any demonic hand that tempered with your life, any demonic hand that is holding your blessing, holding your destiny, holding your mind, Holding your womper and holding your children, holding your marriage, holding your documents, holding your visa tonight. I decree and declare we break it off, we break it off, we break it off in the name of Jesus. Any tempering spirit that tempered with your face, any tempering spirit that tempered with your glory, that tempered with your notion, that tempered with your face, as I pray for you tonight. I decree and declare, we break it loose, we break it loose, it breaks in the name of 
feet uh, any seed that planted uh, when they touch your mind uh, any seed that planted uh, when they were touching your womb uh, any seed that planted uh, when they were touching your marriage uh, as a patient night uh, form it out uh, form it out uh, and cough it out uh, and bleed it out uh, one two three uh, come out he was left bold. Asoko robayata, landa basika talabayata. Esa talabayata, esa country three. As you take the water tonight, let the Holy Spirit begin to move in your body. Let it begin to move in your feet. Begin to move in the stomach. One, two, three. We cast it out by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh. Yana Masata, let there be healing right now. Let there be deliverance right now. Masoto Roboyanda, Lada Basata Yadosa. The men made a mistake when they touched the head of Samson. They may temper with your feet, but not with your glory. They may temper with your words, but not with your glory. They may temper with your business, but not with your wisdom. They may temper with your work, but not with your glory. As I pray for you tonight, we break it, it breaks. I say, touch not my anointed and do my servants no harm. What is it that touched you? They touch you in the night. Who is it that touched you? They touch you in your mother's womb. Who is it that touched you and that causes sickness? Who is it that touched you? They cause the divorce. Who is it that touched you? They're causing your shame. It's a prayer tonight. Break loose. Break loose. Hey. Come and begin to form it out, begin to purple it out, begin to cough it out. I want it out of your life, I want it out of your body, I want it out of your womb. In the name of Jesus. There's some of your feet are on fire. Holy Spirit touch coming now. K Masande Bosaya. Eh Rababa Basanda Ramando Yando Seterebo Sanda Eko Sadabayata. You say Holy Ghost touch. There is a hand that is touching me, but it's not the hand of God. Holy Ghost touch. There is a sickness in my body. It don't belong in my body. Holy Ghost touch. There is depression anxiety that attacks my head. Holy Ghost touch. There is a spirit of barrenness that is attacking my womb. Holy Ghost touch. In the name of Jesus, there is a spirit of poverty that attacks my hands. Holy Ghost touch. In the name of Jesus, the curse of the lay that attacks my feet. Holy Ghost cool. Satanabayanda. Come on now. Let it begin to touch you. As it touches you, let there be deliverance. As it touches you, let there be healing. As it touches you, your story changes. You gotta get your power back. Somebody power tap on your screen is here. You gotta get your glory back. Come on now. Hey, my son, the devil say Come on, if you're vomiting, let me know what is happening. You gotta get your heart back. Come on now. How can you be in a place? You say my heart is broken. All my ex took away my heart. But the man is already married twice and divorced. Yet you are still holding on. Ah, cassette de boyata. Who is it that touched your heart and that broke your heart? Holy Ghost touch and heal in the name of Jesus. Kura Bayanda from the crown of your head. To the soles of your feet from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet let there be deliverance in your life come on power tap on your skin she it don't matter where you've been broken let there be deliverance to make even over your stomach whatever that was not of the lord we pull it out in the name of jesus oh the enemy knows some of you are musicians but you use your voice to be cursing Power tap on your screen is here. Some of you, you're anointed for, you know, you're a writer. But the only thing that you know how to write is to write negative statuses. 
the only thing that you know how to write is to beg somebody for money. Manda Basaya, when God is giving you a gift that you gotta use, what is it about your life? Come on, power it up on your screen to you. The bless of the guest pastor, Lika Basata Rabayata. When the enemy knows that you carry the grace, the grace of finances, it closes up those Payanda, Eshatosa, Ikanda Basata. We break it. God bless you, make Peter Basaya Kada Bahasa. Let God touch your stomach, go make a rose. Let the be deliverance completely. You know, the problem is you're still concerned about what does not really matter in your life. The reason why Samson is weak is because the enemy was looking for the source of power. It says, Where does your power come from? Power tap on your screen and see. Kura Bayanda. Let there be deliverance right now. Why is it that of all the things that you're missing in your life, you're missing a job, only a job. You can get friends, you can get connections, God bless you for the love. But you can't even get a job. They tied his feet, nothing happened. They tied his hands, nothing happened. Indra says, I'm vomiting. Come on, let there be deliverance. I've hit on my face, my whole body is shaking. God is delivering you right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You know that some of you watching me right now, you, you've been through so many battles in your life. And that when you begin to tell somebody that I've been homeless, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been homeless, I've been broke, I've been poor and all that. You remain standing. You, you were abused you were neglected and rejected and you remain standing but the only thing that destroyed you was one outbreak power tap on your screen is here am i speaking to somebody come and drink that water or you can be strong in every sector of your life but that one part of your life one part of your life when the enemy strikes it is done am i speaking to somebody you can be in a season of yelling you know, you've been in a messed up relationship. But at the end of the day, after you've healed, the enemy uses and releases a person that is, a, that is even worse than the past one. Are you there as you pray? He's looking for the place to drain you. Power tap on your screen is here. You look at worldly marriages. Have you seen this? I, I, I was saying this the other day. When celebrators are divorcing, it's fun. You know, it's, you know, being a feminist, whatever you call it. If a celebrated divorce is an abusive man, everybody applauds us. Everybody celebrates. Oh, wow, she finally left the toxic man. But you as a child of God, when you go through a divorce, oh, didn't you pray for your marriage? So it is different when it happens in your life. Because the no enemy knows exactly how to mess up with our lives. Somebody that is popular, they can never business fall down. Nothing happens. It's a story that comes and goes. But when it comes, it happens in your life. It's a whole mess. Tap on your screen, she. The enemy wants to drain you of your glory. He knows exactly the part of your life that glorifies God the most. Are you there? Some of you, you're busy hiding. You're busy hiding. Nobody even knows that you got kids. When you're posting yourself out there with your friends, you can't even tell them that you got kids. Why? Because you're afraid of what they're going to say about you. But when somebody else does it in the world, it's celebrated. Can you tap on your screen and see? So the enemy takes away the power and the glory that God has released upon your lives. He saved for those that have received them. He gave them the power to become sons of God. So when you are a son, you know exactly what is yours. When you are a son and a child of God, you know how to call things into existence. There is somebody watching me right now. You're eating sand. There's somebody watching me right now. You have an addiction. Even in the middle of the night, you can be eating sand. You can be eating sand. And it's so crazy that if you, you don't have money to buy it outside, I'm literally seeing you picking sand outside of the ground. On the ground that you're passing, on your own yard. Who is that person? Get yourself water as you pray. Now, get your water as you pray right now. 
the Lord wants to deliver you, there is a spirit of a serpent that operates in your body. And even in the dreams, sometimes you're also seeing snakes in your dreams. The Lord wants to deliver you right now. Power tap on your screen is here. Get yourself what as you pray. We're going to pray this prayer now. Say, God, any part of my life, how many of you, you've been eating sand? I'm praying right now. The Lord just revealed it to me. That's a demonic spirit. That's the spirit of a serpent. Do you know what the Bible says? In the book of Genesis, when God is cursing the serpent. Power tap on your screen is here. Let me open it up for you. Thank you, Jesus. Get yourself what as you pray. Someone says, I'm addicted to ice. Dream eaten. We're going to pray right now. Thank you, Jesus. Let me do deliverance first and then we're going to go to the scripture. Are you ready for us to pray right now? You say, whatever the enemy has put upon my life that drains me. Whatever that happens in my dreams that drains me. Because by the time he wants to fight, the some of you watching me right now, you didn't see when the enemy attacked your life. Now you want to get into business. It's no longer working. Now he rises up and this is something that you were doing before. But when he gets up that time, he wants to fight. He's now weak. Who is the person watching me right now? There's some things that were easy in your life. Now you can't even do them anymore. God bless you, Pastor, for the gifts. Are you there? You were in a season where it was easy for you to get a job when you didn't even need the money. Now you are desperate for money. The jobs are no longer coming. All this time he had killed thousands. Won so many battles, but after that time, the power and the glory is gone. The anointing is no longer present. Now it's the physical man by himself. The glory is no longer present. Can you power tap on your screen and share? You, you can't even get into a relationship. You can't even get into a business. Nothing is working. Some of you, you don't even want to go outside. Because you don't even like the way that you're looking anymore. The confidence is gone. You used to like dressing up. You used to, you used to like looking pretty and all that. But now all that power is gone. That glory is gone. Are you there? You say, I want my anointing back. I want my anointing back. And I want my power back. Samson is anointed from his mother's womb. So it's not something that just happened in his life. It's not only power that happened when he grew up. He was anointed from the womb. The some of the reason why the enemy keeps on having power over your life. He weakens you. You know what the Bible says? When the mother was pregnant for Samson. The Lord told him, told the lady never to drink alcohol. And even Samson, he said ne he should never touch alcohol and his head should never be shaved. As long as the enemy has tempered with what God is released over your life, what makes you unique and what makes you different, that anointing, when the enemy tempers with it, you become equal to everybody else. You become vulnerable. That's why witches can come. People can just be walking, even spirits, you hear them around your yard. You can you can literally, you know, forgive me for drinking. I'm not saying, I'm not saying drinking is a is a sin and all that. I'm not gonna do that argument right here. But there's some of us we know, we know that this is who we are. I do not drink because I, I, I want to condemn those that drink. I do not drink because that's how I was born, that's who I am. And that's my own conviction. Are you there? And some of you are not meant to be sleeping around, but you're still doing it. And there's some of that say, God, restore my glory back tonight. Whatever battle I'm fighting in the dreams, those that are, 
those that are, we, we're not going to have that argument right here. I'm sorry, in case you're on your right here, we don't do those religious arguments and all that. Whether it's a sin or not, that's not the moment. That's not the moment because one thing about salvation, you can't just wake up and tell somebody, oh, drinking is a sin. You're going to go to hell. You think they're going to wake up and stop because you say that it is a conviction that comes from heaven. The reason why the mother of Samson and Samson did not drink because it was a conviction, not a law. It's an instruction and a prophetic word. Are you there? Get your water ready as you pray. Get your water ready as you pray. Say, God, what entered in my body, even in the sleep, I only have one TikTok account. If you check on my profile, you see it's written there. I only have one TikTok account. Are you there? You say, God, any demonic spirit that weakens me, any power of the enemy that weakens my vision, the glory is already gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's some of you, you deal with sleep paralysis. I spoke about it yesterday. Some of you, you got lucid dreams. You literally go to a whole different dimension in your dreams. When you wake up you from that dream, you're now detached from reality. How many of you are battling the same? You got so many dreams, now you are detached from reality. Power tap on your spin is here. You know, you gotta be in a place that the Lord fights for you even in the dreams. The Lord fights for you in the, even in the dreams. When, you, when the Holy Spirit tells you, wake up, don't sleep with that man in your dreams. Wake up, put on your clothes. That conviction. The Bible says it is the angel that had to wake up it and say, hey, wake up, put on your clothes. It's time for you to leave. Are you ready for us to pray this prayer now? When God was giving me this word today, he said, don't sleep on your own destiny. Don't sleep on your own destiny. Don't sleep whilst the enemy has his hands on your head. Are you there? I don't know if somebody is listening to me. I said I only have one account. I only have one TikTok account. I do not inbox anybody. I do not follow anybody back. I do not have any orphanage. If you look at my profile, it tells you that this is my only TikTok account. So please, I know, I know, go and block whoever followed you back. As you can see, I only follow eight people, only, only, and it's going to stay like that until I don't know. So please, I do not follow anybody. I do not have any orphanage. I do not ask anybody for a seat. I hope you heard me. You say, God, I want you to fight for me. So the enemy suppresses you. Things are happening. But you can't even see things happening because of the current state where we are. We can't even see things happening around us because the enemy has us blinded. And when God gave me this word, it's like, even if you're at your own house, because now the enemy gives us the, you know, the enemy can also use scriptures. A weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. But it doesn't mean that when Intruders come in the night to keep on sleeping like you can't even hear them. You rise up. God bless you for the gifts. You rise up and fight them out of your life. The greatest mistake that we've been making is that you know that there is so much demonic activity around you. And you just watch and you are silent. I don't know what kind of a sedative that Samson was under. But I refuse that one for you. I'm not talking about physical sleep or slumber. I'm not only talking about physical sleep. 
even though we're going to pray about physical sleep and slumber. Because some of you watching me right now, you only sleep for 10 minutes. Within the next 10, within the 10 minutes you're sleeping, the spiritual husband is already come and go. And there's some, you know, there's some spiritual husbands and spiritual spouses that don't even wait for you to sleep. You'll be walking like this and they'll be working on you. They'll be working on you. Are you hearing me? Never ignore something like that. Do I have people? Power tap on your screen and share. I'm not even seeing people sharing. Are you hearing me? You know, the most important thing about commenting in the comment section, if as God gives me a word for you, I'm able to see you. Sometimes I end up not speaking because you're no longer commenting. You're just, I don't know, maybe sleeping. Maybe you're watching Netflix on the other side. There's some spirits that don't even need for you to sleep. Spiritual manipulation. Are you ready? Say, God, shake me up from the slumber. Shake me up from the sleep. Even what I'm saying right now is even important as well. God, shake me up. Shake me up. Thank you, Jesus. Shake me up. Shake me up. I can't sleep the whole time and wake up the damage already done. I always give this example that why is it that, you know, the spiritual husband can finish with you. You only wake up when it's finished. God, wake me up. Wake me up before they destroy my destiny. There's some of you watching me right now. You are in business. You are feeling tired and lazy. This is a wake up call. You're still feeling like, oh, you know, I still got time. This is a wake up call. We don't even know how long we God has ordained for us on this earth realm. This is a wake up call. You know that you got a vision that God has given you. This is a wake up call. By the time you want to start working, it's way too late. The boss say time and chance happen to them also. For everything, there is a season and a time. So if you're sleeping the time they're supposed to be working, by the time you want to wake, things are no longer responding in your way. Are you hearing me? Let there be deliverance, Angie. I know it is important that we speak and we pray with castles, demons and all that. But we can pray right now. Cast out the spirit of rejection. Cast out evil altars, break curses over your life. But when you go back right there, you don't even submit or CV. How is it going to work out? Somebody says, I was having a head deck. It's now gone. Come on now. Thank God for yelling. Are you hearing me? We can be awake and conscious in the spirit. In the same way, the physical. We pray for marital breakthrough and God releases a marital breakthrough in your life. When somebody comes up in your life, you know how to be rude and mean and all that. You got to be conscious. You got to be alert and be watchful for the season. Are you hearing me? Some of this blessings are already out of the hands of God. They are now in the hands of our destiny of us. But if you don't reach that office, if you don't knock on that door, how will you be able to receive the blessing? I want to teach this before we pray. I want to teach this before we pray. Because most of the times, some people will be chasing prayers, you chase deliverance, but you're lacking wisdom. God bless you for the gifts. And help me press on the subscribe button as well. It's only $5.99 to subscribe monthly. Oh yes, pray for me. I want to get married. But do you have the proper wisdom for you to stay in marriage? They are those that are in marriage. They are looking for the exit. They're busy looking for the exit because they tested it. And it wasn't as sweet as they expected. 
but you're just on the door. I want to enter into marriage. We are going to pray. Don't leave. Don't leave because this is so important. Then just say, receive a blessing, receive money, receive. You're going to receive it, then what? You're going to receive it, then what? Power tap on your screen is here. You say, God, wake me up. In the areas where I'm lacking, in the areas where I'm defeated, in the areas where the enemy is draining me, God, shake me awake. Shake me awake. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I got so many people that uh, you send me that be asking for me to pray for marriage. It's not that I don't want you to get married. I want you to get married, but for the right reasons. You can't be looking for marriage because you got no money. Because you, you know what? I, I, I need to, I need, I need to find a better place to stay. That is not the will of God. Oh, pray for me so my my boyfriend can send me money. Uh, uh, how long are you gonna re, re, how long are you gonna live on that money that somebody just gives you? They don't even give you enough. They give you a little bit, a little bit. Now because of that little money that you can actually get a nice job and not open your legs for anybody else. You can actually get a job and have a nice job, a nice car for yourself. But you're willing to go sleep with somebody so they can get you a week. Are you going to die if you don't have the week and go look for a job? No. May God shake you up this morning. May God shake you up this morning. Are you hearing me? You got you, you to gotta be conscious enough to understand what matters in your life what God has ordained for your life what is it that pleases God when it looks into your life God bless you for the gifts the Bible even says what what profits a man if you gain the whole world and lose your own soul I know I may say this but somebody be like oh, yeah, oh you're just saying that because maybe you're married and all that I'm not saying that because I'm married if marriage was the last goal of heaven, why would I be pre still preaching? I would just be like morning in marriage, afternoon in marriage, evening we're doing marriage. We're doing marital stuff, huh? If marriage was like the end of life, why would I still be studying? Why are we still in business? May God shake you up this morning. I'm speaking to the young ladies watching me right now. Get your water ready. No, I want to announce you. I want to announce you. The anointing that breaks yours. The anointing that breaks yours. The anointing that breaks yours. Thank you. Those that have ears that would hear. Thank you, Jesus. And there is a time I, I, I've been thinking about the same that one time I, I'm gonna have to remove all this, you know, the testimonies on the page where you speak about unexpected money and all that because somebody don't even want to work anymore. They want unexpected money. Look at somebody asking me where I, where I'm, I am from. We're not doing meet and greet here. It's not that time. We're not doing meet and greet. Go check on Google. Power tap on your screen is here. I, I, I was actually thinking like one day I got to remove them because when somebody sees that they literally don't understand the next thing, oh, you know what? I need this amount of money. I need this. Oh. You can't be sleeping on your own vision. When God is looking, you, he's looking at you as an individual. He's looking at what you can produce. He's looking at what you can build. He's looking to see his light shine upon your life. Not upon somebody else's life. Not upon somebody else's destiny. That's why when we go to sleep, you know, you sleep alone. Whatever finds you, it finds you alone. You can be sleeping. <laughs> you can be sleeping next to somebody else. And you may be going through a difficult battle in your sleep. And the other one is snoring, enjoying the, uh, the dreams. 
yet you are living a nightmare. The worst nightmare that happened to Samson is laying on the hands of the witch and heaven himself loses glory. Are you ready for us to pray now? Are you ready for us to pray right now? You say, Father, anoint me and break this yoke of my life. I just said the Lord say, I'm breaking the yoke of difficulties. The yoke of difficulties. Everything is always difficult in your life. Everything is always hard in your life. Nothing comes easy in your life. You know, because of the power that Samson had, even the enemies were now attracted to his power. There are times when he had to fight, not because they provoked no, somebody, no. Because they wanted to take away the power that he has. They wanted to check whether he was now weak. You can have certain battles that you're fighting. Not because you're no longer praying. The enemy wants to check and test the orders. Are you still as prayerful as you used to be before? The boss said that Delilah, Delilah tried so many times. And Samson was lying. And all the time that she lied, they kept on trying. They kept on checking. To see if the power is still present. Are you hearing me? You got some people that keep on trying you every morning. They're testing your patience. They're testing your heart. They, you, you're being tested. Uh, that's all I can say. You're being tested in your marriage. You're being tested in your dreams. You've been tested in every sect of your life. Have you changed? Are you still going to respond the same? Are you still going to argue? Are you still going to be negative? Are you still going to stand even in the midst of a difficult situation? How many of you were here yesterday when we prayed and declared prophecy or not? I will stand on the promises of God. Are you hearing me? Some of you even, you following this platform, you've been tested. Why? Because every day you're saying, oh, let her mention my name. Let, let me receive a prophecy. Let me receive a prophecy. And some, some of you, you got in tired. You listen for five minutes, you're gone. Why? Because I feel like my, I didn't receive a prophecy. The enemy has you tested in every sect of your life. I want to pray and anoint you right now. And may the Lord break every yoke of your life. Samson is the only one chosen in his bloodline. And the messes that up. We don't even hear about the son of Samson rising after him because they carry the blessing. He messes the blessing up. There's some way you carry a unique anointing in your bloodline that God has trusted it upon your life and you can't afford to mess it up. You can't afford to lose the crown of greatness that God has released over your life. Come on, somebody declare in the comment section, say, God, anoint me. Anoint me today. As you anoint me, let evil yokes break off my life. As you anoint me, let evil chains break off my life. God has given me an instruction to anoint our feet. I'm going to pour the oil on the ground and step on the oil. Something is going to break out of your life. Even as I pray right now. Come and open up your heart and desire it. As I pray right now, I want the hand of God to touch you. Wherever you are, you know, distance, you know, distance is not a barrier. And our God is omnipresent. The same anointing that is moving in this room. The same anointing that fills up this atmosphere. As I pray right now, let the Lord touch you. Let the Lord touch you and break any evil yoke the enemy has released over your life. Any yoke that binds your destiny. Any yoke that binds your vision. Any yoke the enemy released in your dreams to bind your future. Any demonic chain and yoke that binds you as you go through eating in the dreams. As you go through sex in the dreams. As you go through any demonic attack in the dreams. Any evil chain that binds you down. And locks you down to your bed. As you have sleep paralysis. 
as your pictures in the dreams, as you're drowning in the dreams, I decree and declare right now, it breaks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any demonic chain uh, that is binding your life, any demonic chain that is binding your womb, any demonic chain uh, binding your vision, uh, that is binding your blessing, uh, that is binding your glory, uh, as I pray for you tonight, uh, I scatter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let it scatter in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, touch. Holy Ghost, touch in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of the Lord begin to touch you right now. Wherever the chain is located, we command it to break. Those that have been eaten sent. Those that have been eaten mad. The spirit of a serpent that lives in your body. The spirit of a serpent that you've been feeding day and night. As I pray for you tonight, I decree and declare. As I anoint your word tonight, we break it in the name of Jesus. The yoke of addiction, I break it. Any evil appetite that controls controls what you eat, that controls how you dress, that controls how you eat, that controls what you're smoking. As I count to three tonight, I command you to form it out. One, two, three. We cast it out. Jesus' name. Come on, drink in the water. Those you've been eating sand, you've been chewing on ice. You've been eating plastics. Let them be delivered right now. The serpent that lives in your body, the serpent that lives in your stomach, the serpent that lives in your back, we break it. As I release this oil on the ground, any demonic chain of stagnation, any demonic spirit that drained your strength, that drained your speed, and that drained your power, that power to be stable, that power to get married, that power to stay in business, that power to be great, and the power to be wealthy, as I pray in the notion tonight, wherever it is released, and wherever it binds your life, as I release this oil tonight, we shut up by fire. As I anoint your feet right now. God bless you for the gifts. God bless you, Jonathan. As I anoint your feet right now. As I anoint your feet right now. Power tap on your screen is here. As I step on this oil, I'm declaring that may God restore your glory. May God grant you supernatural speed. May God grant you divine access into places of greatness. Into places of influence. Into places of divine freedom. In the name of Jesus. Any foreign visitor. You know, Delilah is the one that is familiar, right? But because of the familiarity, she allows other spirits to enter into the house. I want to pray and announce your names right now. Thank you, Jesus. This is the only time I ask you to write your names. We now want to announce your names. I want to announce your surnames. Your full name, your name, and your surname. There is a certain familiar spirit that opened the door for other demonic spirits. Your own was just delay, but now it's no longer just delay. Now it's divorce, now it's poverty. Now it's a limitation. Now it's confusion. Now the doors are open for any other spirits to enter into your life. Are you hearing me? The first battle that you were fighting the day you got married is a wicked mother-in-law. Excuse me. But now you're battling the siblings. Now you're battling infertility. You are battling shame. You got no employment. You got nobody that loves you. There's some of you, there is a spirit of accusation. You've been accused of witchcraft. You've been accused of witchcraft. Thank you, Jesus. As I stretch my hand and I know you right now, any demonic spirits, any ancestral spirits, any generational curse, and any familiar spirits that open.
open the doors and the gates to battles in your life that open the doors to poverty that open the doors to rejection that open the doors to shame that open the doors to barrenness that open the doors and, and gates to witchcraft in your life to sorcery in your life it's a prayer in the notion right now every incantation every hack and hex and every spell the release over your name the release over your surname as I pray in the notion right now I decree and declare it is broken in the name of Jesus any familiar spirits that visit you in the night to monitor your progress somebody power tap on your spinach here because some of you, you don't even tell people what you're planning in your life but suddenly they know everything about you they know exactly what you're planning you got some familiar spirits sometimes they show up with faces of the people that you know sometimes they show up even with the faces of your deceased loved ones any familiar spirits as I know you right now, any familiar spirit that visits your dreams to monitor your life, that visits your dreams to monitor your progress and monitor your destiny and limit your progress and destroy the blessing that God is releasing. Any familiar spirits that uses familiarity against your life, that uses ancestral spirits, that uses the disease, that uses the face of your loved ones to attack you in the night and dreams. As I pray and anoint you tonight, I decree and declare, we break it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray and anoint you right now, I prophesy over your life. What was meant to destroy you will not destroy you. Power tap on your skin and see. Uh, that job the enemy started, it will not be completed. Uh, the weapons that were creating against you, they will not work in your life. Come on, can I prophesy over your life right now? The pit that were digging for you, they will surely fall into the pit. Uh, the arrows that were releasing over your life, they will turn back and attack and strike their own hearts in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that this is a season where God is restoring your greatness. This is a season. Come on, put your right hand over your head. As I anoint your head right now, let the glory be restored. Let your power be restored. Let the wisdom be restored. Any demonic spirits, any witch and any wizard that was assigned to capture your star, assigned to capture your glory, as I know you right now, may your star be restored. May your glory be restored in the name of Jesus. Power tap on your skin is here. As I step on this oil right now, I prophesy over.